Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. And today we have another very special unboxing. It's QNAP's new HS210, which is a totally silent NAS. You weren't supposed to get to that yet. Sorry, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> it, is, it is pretty cool. I want to know what that means exactly. So let's get into this thing. All right, well, you can to, start to opening the box here. And I'm going to read a couple of key stats here. All right. So it looks like this is a NAS device. It is silent, of course. And it has a 1.6 gigahertz CPU, half a gig of RAM. It says it's fanless and it's DLNA compatible. Nice. So I guess it can run media services and things of that nature. So are we only using SSDs in this? Well, no, you can use different stuff. You can actually use a normal three and a half inch drive, but it's got a fanless design. Let's see what kind of accessories we got here. We have a power brick. We have an ethernet cable and we have a power cable and we have screws for both SSDs and regular drives. Well, they pack this like my grandmother, impossible to get into. <laughs> so your grandmother's Secure. good at packing? Oh yeah. All right, well here, I got a knife. Right. Either that or I'm just terrible at opening presents. We'll cheat. And I do consider this a present for me. For you? Okay. Well, it is wife approved. So Does it say that? I think so. Watch I your hand, this is very there. sharp. Oh, so I shouldn't? <laughs> you might not want to. I'm trying not to scratch it. Well, because it it's like already a so. It device. looks yeah. It looks like it's really quite pretty. Let's see here. All right. All right. Here there we, go. we go. Whip it out. Oh ha ha. All right. So we've got all kinds of. We'll leave this on for yeah. now. But it's got protective uh, packaging. I like this oh, brushed uh, metal kind of uh, look to the top of it. Oh, you're gonna go and take it off. Well, it, it, it was easy. Okay. All right. We've got that. Now let's take a look at. Let's see what we got for inputs and outputs here. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll get this off so we can see it better. All right. Okay, we've, we've got, got right here, USB yep. 3, two USB 3s, one ethernet, two USB 2s, an SD card slot, and then the power and a tiny little reset button okay. slot there. Let's see if we have anything else. Okay. No. Over here in the front. No. Wait, no. do these pop out? Yes, that uh -huh. comes off. I was wondering how you got in there. So this is where the two drives go. So you it looks like you push this and nice. this cage slides right out and then push this one and this one slides right out. So that's where you mount your drives and then if I recall, yep. Right here, it's it's uh -huh. nicely marked. So you either use a full size drive, or if you're using SSDs, it tells you use these three screw holes for SSD. That way, you don't have to fumble around with. Yeah. It like, if you've well, ever oh my God! That. Look yeah. at all these screw holes. Where should I put it? Well, it's marked. Oh, okay. This is magnetic. That is magnetic. <laughs> so that way, when you get your bays put yeah. in here, just throw it back you just on. take this sucker and. I think it's upside down. Oh, there, there you go. There Snap. Go. That's it. Perfect. Now, okay, this, how heavy is it? It's oh, it's super light. Very light. Super now, light. what's so interesting about it is it's fanless, which means somehow they've solved the cooling problem associated with uh, big, you know, running two big yeah. full size drives in here, and probably because this whole thing feels like a big sheet of aluminum. Yeah, it seems to be. So um, the the nice thing about this is this is really designed for people who have a kind of media center in their home yeah. and you want a place to put your NAS device but, but you don't have a server a closet of, or having to turn the TV up so loud because yeah. you're trying to overcome the fan That's that kind right. of thing but it'll also run um, all of the apps that the bigger oh, yeah. versions do so you can get cloud service so you can basically get access to the QNAP wherever you go you could use it as your um, as your iOS, what's it called? The Mac backup thing. A time uh, machine. Time machine yeah. backup server. You can use it as an Apple uh, I, iTunes server. You Plex. can run Plex on it and all that. All so it's a full multimedia yeah. server, file server, and everything else. So we're going to slap some big old drives in this bad boy and we're going to fire it up and then give you guys a full, complete walkthrough on it. All right, make sure you're taking a look and subscribing at youtube.com slash geekbeatv for the follow-ups on these. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. We're Bye. out of here.